Hey guys, welcome back to that AJH TV. Yes, yeah, so on this channel, we give you the latest entertainment news and gossip from the Ghanaian and also African entertainment industry. Yes, yeah, so if you're new here, and as I always say, can you subscribe to this channel and also click on the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so anytime you drop a new content, you will be the first to be notified. Yes, yeah, so today's buzz, we have Tabwe Kwatin as the late Ebony Rain's father is in the news, and he's saying that the people that he hired to manage his going to the world's record label actually spent all his money or they duped him that's why people are not hearing from i mean i mean this is quite funny but then it's a serious issue that we need to discuss yeah so um um uh, that's probably known as starboy quartin as the late ebony's father you know he rose to fame when ebony passed on um last two years and and and, and he he actually came became very very popular when he was granted um, interviews on various social media um sorry um, radio platforms also media platforms okay like tv and radio um, and where he spoke about i mean his relationship and also um uh, the whole record label that's ebony's record label that's um, rough town records his engagement in there and also he also started a new record label of which he started okay and he made a statement um i'm talking about those statements that he said earlier or the, the earliest thing that i made or said about him uh, i made it on xylophone fm that's way back that showed his agenda uh, when some flex host, um, hosted him yes yeah, so um he actually um started a record label that's born into the world record and he signed one female artist according to him his record label is to i mean uh, maintain the legacy of the late Ebony Rains and he signed one female artist that's Kim Warren. I mean, Kim Warren also coming in the so, um, showbiz um, in the music industry. Uh, she also came in um, quite vibrant and also trying to beef the likes of Wendy C and other um, um, female acts in there. Um, but uh, one would say, I mean, you cannot just come and just try and, you know, um, try and drag somebody down the drain or just go at somebody. You need to be a professional. You need to be in the in the entertainment and the music industry for a while before you can even do that. I mean, although she tried to pull one or two strings, it wasn't really, really successful and all that. But then, and for some time after dropping one song, we've not heard from her again. Neither have we also heard from Starboy Quartin. But according to Starboy Quartin, people have, we have not heard from all. We have not heard from his record label and also from his, from his artists because he employed people and the people that he employed guys we don't know about them i don't know if you know if you know can you drop their names in the comment section let's get it interactive in there yeah so um for me one thing i think about one thing i know about um, record label is that you need to hire professionals okay to handle your record label for you you don't just call friends and family or probably because you have money then you just see how you are starting a record label no it doesn't work that way to hire professionals, I mean, people who are handling your AR now, people who are handling your, your, um, your artist for um, publicity, let me see, media handles, I mean, sound engineers, uh, people, I mean, people, lawyers, and what have you. I mean, it takes a lot to, I mean, start a record label or even um, manage an artist. You get it? So you don't just um, wake up just because probably you are getting some kind of traction, let me see, some fame, then you feel like you can start a record label. No, it doesn't work that way. So uh, I don't know, but as I said, we don't know the kind of people that start by quite and hired. And, and for her daughter to be in a music game, I'm sure probably um, he, may ha he may have some kind of knowledge about uh, record label and also, um, <coughs> sorry, handling artists or let me say managing an artist. Therefore, that's why he, he introduced Kim Morin, of which, as I said, after dropping one song, we've not heard from her up to now. And people are asking, like, where is Kim Morin? I mean, where is Starboy Quartin? We are all asking this um, question. But then, um, let us post on social media, okay, um, of which um, Dr. Pounds posted and, and he was saying that Boy Quartin has, uh, uh, he's saying that uh, um, um, people that he had um, actually chopped his money. <laughs> and as I, as I said earlier, somebody who your daughter was in the music scene and also um, you, you were kind of associated to whatever thing that they were doing, at least you have some kind of idea about how these are gone and also you hire professionals for them to handle your, your, your record label for you. But then you just let people come and I mean, we don't know whether it is true or not, but that's what um the, the the post said and therefore i'm also trying to also give my opinion and also try and also read meanings into it said so, guys so just drop your comments in the comments and let's get interactive in there um and for me I, an advice a quick advice out there is that you don't just wake up and also say you're starting a record label no you need to have the expertise okay you need to have the the, the necessary resources you know to start it i mean get people who are an expert or experts in that field even if you can't even you hide them let them give you advice i mean see them let talk to them oh i want to do this and that let me do it. you see this is the reason why most um 
record labels in Ghana do not thrive. Like, I mean, they come pumping money, boom, 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 boom. Then they go or they die, I mean, they die out of the system. Or probably their artists don't blow in, uh, in, after they have pumped a lot of money in there. You know, it takes a lot, okay? It takes a really, really lot to, you know, um, 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 start a record label and also be satisfied in it. Okay, next one I'm going to say for today, I have Chatawale and Ifiodo. I mean, premiere, you know, let me say, uh, uh, featuring, or let me say, if you're just featuring in Chateau latest video, that's a bad man. And guys, this video, um, when the snippet was dropped yesterday, it was trending on Twitter. And if you're was trending, Chateau was trending. And it has to do with the content of the video. People are asking, hey, if you're all done in Chateau yes, we, all, we know they are friends. I mean, they even broke up, or their friendship went sour or went down the drain, and they have come out. Right now, it seems that people are spending rather these guys are dating like almost a whole kind of way and i mean for me it, it doesn't come as a surprise to me because i watch Atawali snaps a lot and if you're not snapping then you could see that these guys what they are having is beyond friendship that's what me i have got it so far it's beyond friendship I, for me i'm spending i think something is going on so what people are also saying on social media yes we might not have the facts and all but then connecting their dots something is actually going on between Shatawale and Ifiodo. I don't see it to be mere friendship because um, looking at the video, it was very, very explicit. Yes, Ifiodo was very, very smart in there trying to, you know, sell her brand and also, um, um, yeah, her brand as her product is um, body by Ifiodo, wearing them in there, you know, because he knows that Shatawale has the numbers and anybody who watches that particular video will definitely, you know, see it. And you know, Shatawale has fans across the globe, therefore, I don't know. She, I mean, she's, she's she's thinking of her brand, not only what she's doing. Yes, she might get paid or might not get paid, but every day she's promoting her brand as body body by outdoor. And if you are following her or if you stand follow her, if you outdoor, realize that she be posting these things on her social media platform. That's Instagram. And she wear she wore something similar in the music video. So you see, I mean, that's why I'm saying that she she played very smart there. According to if you watch um the end um uh, what's the name? I think there's a name too. I think I've forgotten. Um, Yes, that thing that's cool with the details and I've forgotten that there's a name to, um, um, to it, yeah. So you could see the assistant director, Ifeodo, meaning that Ifeodo um, actually directed that particular video, was part of the directors of that particular video, which means that, hey, Ifeodo is really, really selling herself. <laughs> it's like she's the one even um, shooting the music video. No, 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 no. But then she was, I mean, she actually started in that video. Like I said, that song is very explicit and Shatawale Charlie is trying, and you know, dance all jenna i mean i'm not saying it sells um explicitly but then i mean it's like they're permitted to do that regardless i've not seen um how would you say that the dancehall music video dancehall song being so clean like majority of them are so explicit and it's so raw uh, and all that yeah so that's that's what is trending at the moment okay guys so all to have come to the end of the daily entertainment gossip right here on that TG. as always well, if you are new here kindly subscribe to this channel it's very very important um some people have been telling me they don't get notified yes because you've not subscribed or let me see you've not clicked on the bell icon after subscribing kindly click on the bell icon so, and you click when you click on that you see all personalized and none click on all when you click on all you get all notifications anytime you drop a new content on our channel so don't forget to also log on to our blog www.odatejason.com for the latest entertainment news and so don't forget to also follow me personally okay follow me personally at odate underscore jh and let's get interactive in there so i'll see you guys in the next video peace